Well, Jeremy, new season, new coaching staff, a lot of new faces. You're one of the familiar faces. So how would you describe the atmosphere around the team this year? Uh, super exciting. The energy has been great. Uh, a lot of new faces. A lot of people just really here to excited to work every single day. Uh, defense obviously moving to a 3-4. So how do you see yourself fitting into that defense and, and how are you working into that right now during camp? Uh, yeah, it's been great. Um, Avera has been very creative with how he wants to move me around, um, you know, different packages and kind of different different defensive looks that have gone in. So really, whatever my role is, uh, whatever it has been, it's just been a little bit different, but just moving around and kind of change up the picture. And with this new defense, what are you most excited as far as your skill set goes to, to be able to implement and, and kind of show on the field this year? Uh, I'm just excited to have the opportunity to play fast uh, and not have to think too much, you know, be able to just leave an impact. Um, and make those splash plays. Kind of looking at the last few years, and obviously I think the, the key to any coaching staff you've been with is how do we find the right role for Jeremy? How do we use who he is on the field? So has that been hard for you, constantly having to adjust and adapt to, to different people and different styles? Uh, yeah, I mean, a little bit. Really, I mean, this year has definitely been, I think, probably the smoothest that it has been. Um, just because the coaching staff is they've really taken their time it's the way they, they take the time to explain certain things and you know exactly how they want their defense to look so that's been pretty simple um but yeah i mean the past the past few years really just take, taking my role and just trying to do my best in it but i think this this year definitely it, it caters to my strengths and the defense is something I feel like the Panthers have been building up the last few years. A lot of returning guys, a lot of new faces, some new vets. So, you know, what makes this defense this year special and, and why do you think you guys can be one of the top defenses in the league? Yeah, I mean, we've played, all these guys have been here for a while now. Um, we had the experience of playing with each other. Uh, we all know what we want to do. Uh, we all want to win and um, we hold each other accountable and hold each other to that standard. Last season you were selected as a captain. So how do you see yourself stepping up into even more of a leadership role in, in 2023? Uh, same, same thing, um, you know, continue to show that on the field, off the field, uh, as far as, you know, how I come and show, show up to work every single day. Um, but, you, you know, also making plays on the field, I think that's something that a, a lot of guys really follow and, and pay attention to. So I know how important that impact is as well. All right, last off season, we saw you hiking Crowder's Mountain as part of uh, maybe some conditioning to, to stay in shape. I think yeah. I saw a video of some Pilates this off season. Yeah. So what, do you, what did you do in the off season to prepare for this season? Yeah, I did a lot of things. Um, Pilates was a big one. I, I recommend Pilates to anybody, to everybody. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think that was actually probably the biggest difference maker of my body from this season compared to last season, for sure. Pilates is harder than people think. It's very hard. Yeah. 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 Not like yoga. I think people associate the two, but Pilates, I'm here for it. It's All right. Also, also off the field, you've really stepped into a leadership role in the community, uh, establishing your foundation and doing a lot of uh, events. So what made you want to get that going and, and why is that important to you? Uh, yeah, I mean, when I when I first got to Charlotte, um, this is a city that really took me under their wing. So, you know, I felt like it was great for me to be able to give back to the city and just show the love that I received from them. So uh, this is somewhere I call home and, you know, I, I really just want to leave a positive impact on the community. Yeah, and I know one of the key groups that you focus on giving back to is uh, homelessness. And mm -hmm. so why why that specifically? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's more personal than anything. Um, just really humanizing the, the homelessness community and there's just so many people affected by it from you know children to adults and you know whatever of all ages so uh, being able to provide some relief to those families and you know those people who struggle with homelessness uh, is something that I've, I've felt and I've seen in my family personally so being able to leave a positive impact here in the Charlotte community is huge it's everything to me. Absolutely. And speaking of leaving an impact, uh, a lot of kids screaming your name, wanting your autograph fan fest on Wednesday. So what's it been like just seeing the fan support so far this year? Oh, it's been great. You know, it's always been love. Uh, you know, I love these fans. I love this community. Like I said, it's a place I call home. So they definitely show a lot of love. It means a lot to me. All right, Jeremy. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it.